According to a report by the National Syndemic Disease Control Council, 52% of all new HIV infections occurred among adolescents and young adults aged 15 to 29 years in the last one year. In this youth demographic is a young man who tested positive for HIV at the age of 23. Although HIV AIDS is prevalent in society, it is surrounded by stigma and few will share their status publicly. I spoke to Ruel Okeo, a HIV AIDS advocate and champion who is creating content on TikTok by taking his daily antiretroviral drugs publicly so as to break the silence around HIV infection and management. In his digital HIV AIDS awareness campaign, Ruel takes his ARV pills at different public locations. This is how it all began. It, I was literally a constant tester, if that's a word. <laughs> yeah, I, I would test frequently. And so I was very, very confident that the result would come back um, negative. So he does the test and he says, actually it was even on my phone, and he tests and, and he says, you're HIV positive. Like, what, what? What do you mean HIV positive? There's no way I'm HIV. I just tested in August, um, HIV negative. Do the test again. And then came the aftermath. When I tested positive and I was like, I was in so much pain and anger because this is one time. I could have an SDI which after six months or less, it's treated and I go back to my normal life. Why HIV? Why did it decide to like hit me at this fragile point in my life? You know, I was only 23 at the time. He opted to share the diagnosis with a close friend. He says he was still in denial though. On September 26, 2020 at 10 a.m., I took my first ARV pill. For, for a fact, I did know that once HIV is in your system, your immunity is compromised. It's 100% compromised. And one thing I pride myself in is I have a very, very strong immune system and I rarely fall sick. So I was just told myself, you know what? I need to take this medication because I don't want to fall sick. And then... So I literally went through all the stages of grief literally so the aspect of denial was the first i just started denying everything that's happening and then i started becoming angry at everyone and everything he says many people do not disclose their positive status because of fear and so now my mom comes to visit this is like her first visit and so she found her medication she was just going through the bags trying to like clean the house and whatnot um she found the pills and she asked me like what are this medic what are these pills for and i just tell her you know what this um medication is for prep uh, it prevents people from getting hiv when you take it daily and my mom is like no this is hiv medication i googled it it's hiv medication so at that point i just thought like i just need to tell her the truth so that if something goes wrong with my health they know where to start like this is um he's hiv positive he might be allergic to this medication so i was just like yes mom i mean i'm hiv positive so my mom just told me if you need support i'm here for you and so i think with her words she kind of like lifted a burden that was weighing heavy on me he now had a solid support system. My mom had already called my dad, so my dad was on his way to my house to discuss about my health status. In the midst of all this, Ruel continued to take his medication daily without fail. Acceptance slowly started to come. You know, HIV is a guest in my body. It's going to live under my rules. So I'm not going to live under its rules. I'm not going to be constantly visiting the hospital. I'm not going to fall sick often. I'm not going to feel bad about it because at the end of the day, it's just a pill. He also started watching content from people living with HIV. Just looking at some of what my other um, HIV people were out creating content around. 
yo we are creating sad content sad content like i was looking at that content i'm like had i not accepted myself this would destroy me even more because the question i would ask myself from the perspective of someone who's not accepted themselves is this person came out they're living publicly with their status and they're creating sad content around it like what about me who hasn't accepted themselves yet and i'm still struggling with it it will destroy me even more Ruel has taken the pill at Holy Family Basilica, in a Matatu, Central Police Station, and even at the KICC as per the request of his followers. And so, so many comments kept coming in of people who are HIV positive and they're like, you are a champion, you are a champion, you're doing this. I could not do this by myself. And so I'm like, okay, so it's getting interactions. So where next do you want to see me take my hi my my arv drug next so that's how the caption came about so guys come to my inbox and they're like well um i saw your video and i'm going to the clinic tomorrow and they're even sending me the location of where they're going and not only in kenya also even abroad he's now using social media for good he also has a podcast which opened doors for him on a global stage I do work with um an organization called y plus global Y Plus Global um, is championing for young people to be the forefront for fighting against HIV and other SRH um, issues, which literally has, they took me as fresh as I was at the time and nurtured and mentored me to be who I am today. His clarion call. So I will look at someone, I'll look at you and like, you're very beautiful, you're very pretty and like, oh, you're Hannah. So that is where most of us go wrong. And this now has to come down to the aspect of our sexual activities. If we're engaging with, we having, um, what's the word? Um, it's, it's just disappeared, but we're having many sexual partners, then we don't have time to take care of our sexual health. So you find that um, I look at you like you're attractive, I want to smash and move on to the next one. I don't know you. If I ask me your second name, I don't know your second name, but we've already had the act and I'm moving on to the next one. In the name of Huyo Hakai Akonayo. So if you ask someone, how does a HIV positive person look like? They're like, oh, I'm a conduct kidogo, like, well, sorry to rain on your parade, but I'm HIV positive. Like, now, okay, exactly. As we close, Royal stresses that prevention is better than cure.